All right, so in this one, we're going to figure out how to do shading in a ray tracer. So we'll assume that you've already found the intersection point, which means that we're also assuming that you've already computed the ray origin and the ray direction. And we'll talk about how to figure out what color to make a pixel that struck a ray. So there's two things to keep in mind here. One is that we have a screen, and the screen is full of pixels. And let's say we shot a ray through that pixel right here, which I'll call I, J. And let's say that that ray had the good fortune to hit some sphere off in the world. So there's our ray, and here's where it hit a sphere off in the world. What we need to figure out is the color of the sphere at that point, and then we'll take that color and color the pixel that same color. The way we're going to do this is by using um, Lambertian or flat shading. I'm sorry, Lambertian or um, diffuse matte shading. We'll say matte because that's what it is. So our spheres don't look shiny, they look matte or diffuse. So to compute the color at that point, we need to know a couple things to do Lambertian shading. One is we need to know the surface normal at that point. And then the other thing we need to know is we need to know the direction to the light. And then once we've got those three things, we just do a dot product. And the other things we need to know are like the reflective color of the sphere. So you need to know the reflective color of the sphere so that you can plug that into the equation for Lambertian shading. This is given to you by the user. So somebody has to tell you what color the sphere is. Anyway, coming back to the surface normal, if my ray intersected a sphere at a certain point, then I can draw a line which connects the center of the sphere to the intersection point, and that line is the surface normal. So the surface normal is just the uh, center of the, the intersection point minus the sphere center. It's just that little line right there. So that gives me the normal. For the direction to the light, there's a couple ways to do this. But if you assume you have a point light, let's say your point light is over here, then what you would do is you would just create a vector which goes from the intersection point over to the point light. So this vector would be given by the light location minus the intersection point. Now it's very important to point out that both the surface normal and the direction to the light have to be normal. So the other thing to add right here is normalize all vectors. Because in each case, you don't really care about the length of any of these vectors. What you do care about is their direction. So to get just the direction absent the length, you just do a normalization. Now the final thing to point out is that the intensity of the light falls off with the square of the distance. So if I have a unit volume of light coming out of a sphere around this point light, then the intensity of that light decreases with the square of the surface. So you've also got to um, adjust the intensity of light. Intensity to decrease with the square of distance. So that's the other thing you need to do as you do Lambertian shading, is let the intensity of the light decrease with the square of the distance.
Okay, so just to put that all together, the color at the intersection point is equal to the dot product of the vector, which